What if I told you that the secret to loosening compacted lifeless clay soil isn't a shovel, a tiller, or even compost? What if the fix was something as simple as letting an old okra plant rot in place? Stay with me, because this is one of those forgotten garden strategies that works quietly underground and yet delivers massive long-term results. This isn't just about growing okra. It's about using its natural biology to transform your soil from tight, waterlogged sludge into a loose, rich, aerated bed that practically begs for roots. You don't need expensive amendments or commercial soil conditioners, just patience, timing, and a bit of clever root strategy. The truth is, while most gardeners pull out their plants at the end of the season and throw them into the compost pile, leaving certain crops in the ground can actually do more good than we realize, especially okra. Beneath the tall, woody stalks of mature okra lies a deep, fibrous root system designed by nature to punch through tough soil. And once that root dies and decays, it leaves behind more than just organic matter. It leaves pathways, fungal food, worm trails, and a foundation for the next season's growth. Let's get into the details. Okra isn't just another summer vegetable. It's part of the mallow family and has a unique tap root that grows long and thick with lateral roots that fan out into the surrounding soil. In clay beds where water tends to pool and oxygen is scarce, this kind of root system acts like a living drill. It pierces through dense layers, opening up air channels and improving drainage as it grows. But the real magic happens after the plant dies. When you leave the root in place after the season ends, it begins to rot slowly, right where it grew. Microbes, fungi, and eventually worms begin feeding on the decomposing tissue. Unlike shallow-rooted plants, okra's thick roots leave deep channels that persist long after the root is gone. These voids allow water to penetrate faster during rains, prevent puddling, and give your next round of crops a head start by softening the soil for them. Most importantly, this method encourages the growth of soil fungi, especially beneficial types like glomus and trichoderma, which are critical in rebuilding structure, improving water-holding capacity, and partnering with plant roots to access more nutrients. This method is deceptively simple. As your okra plants begin to finish producing, don't yank them out. Instead, cut the stalks a few inches above the soil line and just leave them be. Over time, nature will do the rest. The roots will slowly begin to decay below the surface, and earthworms will start tunneling toward the decomposing material. In especially hard-packed areas where digging or double digging would normally be required, this passive process begins loosening the soil from within, without you ever lifting a spade. If your garden is already clear of okra, you can still make use of this method. Take old okra stalks from harvested plants, including the thick root base, and bury them vertically into new or existing beds. Make sure they go in at least 8 to 10 inches deep. Water the area well, cover it with mulch, and let it break down slowly over winter or dry season. Come spring, you'll have mini composted pillars underground, each one lined with microbial activity. One thing most gardeners overlook is that clay isn't dead, it's just dormant and suffocated. Clay soil is actually rich in minerals and potential, but it lacks structure. What it needs is biological activity to turn its particles into crumbly aggregates. This is where fungal networks come in. Okra roots, when left to decompose, feed soil fungi like few other plant roots can. Their carbohydrate-rich tissues, especially the pithy center of the taproot, become a buffet for fungal colonies. As fungi consume the root and spread outward, they leave behind glues like glomalin that bind clay particles into looser, more plant-friendly shapes. This means your heavy soil becomes easier to dig, holds moisture longer without going soggy, and provides airspace for roots and worms to thrive. If you mulch the bed lightly and avoid disturbing it too much, these fungal channels will persist and even deepen with each passing season. Earthworms love decaying root channels. When they discover an okra root going soft and spongy, they tunnel in, lay castings along the path, and often stick around for the long term. These tunnels then become permanent worm corridors, improving drainage, aeration, and nutrient cycling right at the root zone. For gardeners struggling with dry, crusty beds in summer and waterlogged messes during rainy spells, this natural worm and root system restores balance. 
It mimics what forests and grasslands have done for millennia, building fertility not with force, but with quiet, consistent biology. The okra root method is best used in late summer or fall, right as your plants begin to fade. Don't use it in actively cropped beds unless you're prepared to sacrifice the space for a season. Also, make sure you don't plant diseased or pest-infested roots, as that can cause problems next year. Healthy, mature okra plants are ideal candidates. And while okra is the star here, this method can be applied with other deep-rooted annuals like sunflowers or even corn. But few leave behind roots as thick, fibrous, and rot-friendly as okra. So many gardeners go to war with their soil. They dig, till, amend, and fertilize endlessly. But sometimes the best solution is to step back and let nature engineer the repair. The okra root method is a no-dig, no-labor, zero-cost way to break up clay, feed microbes, and build deep tilth from the inside out. It's a lazy gardener's dream, and a soil builder's secret weapon. If this guide gave you a new idea for your clay-choked beds, let us know in the comments what you'll be trying this season. And if you found it helpful, hit that subscribe button and share this video with fellow gardeners who've been battling tough soil for too long. More forgotten soil tricks are on the way. Stay rooted and keep growing with Hydro Haven.